Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to see if this lawnmower can also be used as an air compressor by making a simple modification to the engine. To drill and tap the hole you see here, the head had to be removed and reinstalled. Right here you see two fittings connected together. The one on the left is a quarter inch hex nipple and it's threaded into a quarter inch check valve. You can see inside there's a spring and steel wall. When I got this it had a piece of plastic in the end that had to be removed. So what I did is I installed a longer spring. So when the valve is threaded onto the end, it pushes on the spring which pushes on the ball. The purpose of this valve is to regulate how much pressure is leaving the combustion chamber. All male threads have Teflon tape applied. This part right here I made, it's an absorber and what happens the pressure from the mower goes in on the right and inside this chamber is activated charcoal and the purpose of it is to absorb any unburned fuel or smoke. Each one of the galvanized caps has a hole drilled in the center and it's been threaded using a quarter inch pipe tap. Apply a small amount of oil forming the threads using the quarter inch pipe cap. Here's a look at the completed cap. You can see the male fitting of the hose is now threaded into the cap. Now taking a very fine mesh copper screen and placing it inside the cap. The purpose of that is to prevent any activated charcoal from finding its way into the line. Each one of the caps is going to be done the exact same way. Now that the mesh has been installed, I'm going to be taking a small piece of fire retardant cloth, placing it on top of the mesh. That's going to prevent any fine granules of activated charcoal from finding its way through the mesh. Each end is going to have this applied. Once it's pressed all the way down, it's going to look like what you see right here. Okay, the Teflon tape was applied to the 3 quarter inch by 4 inch galvanized nipple and it was threaded into the cap which is connected to the hose. Now we're going to take the activated charcoal and pour it inside that pipe. Now if you take a look at the inside, you can see it's very coarse. They're all irregular shapes. Using a funnel, I'm going to make sure all that activated charcoal finds its way into the bottom of that tube. I'm going to tap it to make sure everything packs down nicely. I want to have it all the way to the top of that tube and just slightly above. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's take the cap and thread on the cap. The cap will be tightened down securely using a pipe wrench. Okay, right here you can see the hex nipple along with the check valve and the shutoff valve all connected into the head. For the first demonstration, we're going to be using this bicycle. I let all the air out of the tire. You can see the hose is connected up to the lawnmower and it's all ready to go. Let's start it up. Let me grab the hose, open up the valve about one turn. Okay, I let a lot of air out of this tire. It was originally at 32 PSI. It's now down to right around 16 PSI. Let's start up the mower and put some air back into the tire.
Let's do a quick check to see what it's up to. And it's hard for you to see from the distance, but it's right around 22. it again, it should be there, and it's right at 32 PSI, so this works pretty well. After using this, I inspected the fittings, no problem, the hose is just fine, the hose never really got that hot, the air chuck, no problem at all, and the galvanized activated charcoal housing, no problem at all. Now there is something that I want to show you. I took apart the check valve, and you can see the spring is not as springy as it was. The heat changed the temper on the spring, and the shutoff valve had a problem around the stem. The packing all burned up. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, then be sure to click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.